to me, this is Lowell Mayors. Lowell's been the uh, president, chairman of the uh, Comanche Little Ponies for uh, approximately 15 years. And Benny Tomacara is also uh, a United States Marine Corps retired veteran. And that cable guy back there. That was a joke. This is your uh, 2014 power schedule or 2013? Uh, 2013. Oh, okay. I'm talking to you. You have the floor, though. Uh, Benny kind of put this together, our vice chairman. He might explain to you briefly what he's saying. Morning, Chairman. Uh, what we have here is uh, a proposal. Uh, actually, there's two proposals here. Uh, one of them is covering 2014. Uh, we're asking for uh, uh, monetary support for our uh, 46th annual uh, Mother's Day powwow. Uh, also included in there is we're asking the co-host in Muscularo. Uh, the Cranchy Boys is sponsoring this powwow, and we were asking the co-host. So we're asking for uh, some assistance on that. And the second one, 2015, uh, we're requesting to put on the uh, 2015 uh, budget ballot. Ballot, yes. Um, so, uh, just a minute. Where's Will? He just stuck out. I don't think that we included any of the cultural organizations on 20, 2015 budget. But I don't see why not. Why we can't do that? Uh, and then you got a total budget. Is that it? Yes. The 2014 is what we're asking the part of town is for this year, the remainder of this year. And then 2015 is what we're asking to do another budget. Okay. Uh, this, uh, the rest is uh, kind of what we budgeted. Uh, 2013, we began in Palo Alto. We have uh, 2013 our commitments, uh, what we do, and some of the money we're requesting is you know, to help us go to the places we see all the places that we go to. And we did not lose our constitution. All right. Well, this, this is basically a, to kind of show you what we do uh, throughout the year, uh, our expenses. Uh, things like that. Uh, we, we come to a point recently where it, it gets really hard to, to do the things we do. Uh, little ponies, wherever we go, whatever we do, we purpose it for the mission. Uh, that's first and foremost, and we tell people that. Uh, we're, we're more than just a cultural organization. Uh, you go back into the history of little ponies and what they represent. Uh, but. First and foremost, wherever we go, we travel. We travel the state. We travel the country. Uh, but we represent. The people, we tell people that uh, we're little ponies, yes, but we're part of the Comanche Nation. Uh, it's very expensive for what we do. Um, we subsist on fundraising that we do, uh, but mainly to just dig into our own pockets because we love who we are. We love where we go. We love to spread the Comanche culture wherever we go. Go to a lot of places. Uh, we, we travel great distances. You know, the people that are from the town of that area is us. Uh, and we take pride in that. But we can go there and represent the Comanche people. Um, we've never come forth to be an ask for anything like this. Uh, but it's just getting really tough here lately. We all know the cost of living, uh, the cost of travel. Uh, and that's basically what money goes to uh, uh, traveling and staying in uh, committees can uh, give the little ponies enough rooms for us. Um, and that's basically where we, uh, you'll see that in there. Uh, we tra recently traveled to Fort Hall last summer. Uh, yeah, uh, they gave us 10 rooms. We ended up getting 17 rooms. Uh, they, this is just kind of an example. Uh, they gave us $2,500. We spent over $5,000 to get our people out. So it came to a point where we thought we'd just come before the committee and see if we could get some help with some of these expenses. Um, just uh, and maybe get on the proposal for next year um, to get uh, 
yearly um, that, That's what our proposal is here today. Um, but we, we've done this so long um, ourselves because uh, we're proud of who we are. Um, we're proud to represent the transformation. Um, whether we get health care today or not, you know, we continue to we'll continue to do what we did to represent the Comanche Nation. Um, yeah. So we thought we'd just come in, uh, show you show you something of what we do, and see if you have any questions um, regarding what we're here for. Right. Many got any questions you want to ask? Or not, we'll take this into consideration. And the low is your uh, <coughs> phone number on here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just the second page. Okay. 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 All right. Gotcha. All right. We'll do that. We'll give you a call. Okay. We'll need to stay and have a lunch with us. We've got meat, potatoes, and property. Have a, have a lunch with us. Okay. We'll discuss this and we'll get back to you. It may be a lump sum or if you want it, whether it's just one event at a time or it's completely one be. Okay. All right. Thanks for the cutter. Yeah, you're good. Sandra Toyoya, is there 
Do you have any objections to uh, speaking to the audience here today? Or did you want to meet in an executive session? We're trying to sort things up. Right, okay, that'd be fine. Um, uh, I'm Sandra for you, and um, I'm sure um, a lot of folks know me. Um, we have a new program now. I'm the director of that program, but I'm still working with the Connection Education Council. But I am also on the board of directors for the uh, Legal Aid Services of Oklahoma. And this is Mr. Kate Buckler. And Kate is the, um, the area. Yeah. This is Mr. Kate. McClure, are you uh, part of the, uh, the McClure family here in Lawton that was the historians? Yes, sir, I am. Okay. Uh, Kenley was my dad. He yeah. Was I remember that name. And the Dan line. was my uncle. Okay. Yeah. How did you get associated with legal aid? Is well, that your profession? Yes, I'm a lawyer. Okay. And uh, we actually opened the office here back in 1977. And uh, got to know Sandra here a few years back, worked with the grandparents raising grandchildren. And uh, she's on our board of directors. Legal Aid is a nonprofit law firm. We cover the state. I've got a little handout here. May I hand that out? Sure. That describes what we do. And we do civil legal cases, so okay. not criminal legal cases. And as uh, a matter of fact, I'm licensed in the Indian Court in Edinburgh, so I know where you speak about the court. Mm -hmm. I would uh, support this group's uh, move to open an Indian court. I think that's a good thing to have a local justice system, although as you point out, it's never necessarily uh, real neat. It